Yo, what's going on guys? It is the Big K back again for another video. And today I want to talk about my experiences working at Dollar General. I'm going to give you guys some insight through my perspective at working at Dollar General. So whether if you're looking for a new job or you want to know a little bit more about what it would be like working at Dollar General, I'll give you a little bit of my own personal experience and insight. So about four months ago, I ended up getting a job at Dollar General. Definitely not the place I wanted to work at, but I needed money. And I also knew the store manager, so, you know, through, like, I guess, favoritism, which I've never really experienced much of, but this job I did, I basically got the job instantly. So, yeah, you know, can't complain. So, whatever the minimum wage is in your state, that's probably what you're going to start out at. The minimum wage in my state, Pennsylvania, is seven twenty-five. but, you know, through that favoritism thing, I ended up getting $8 an hour. Not the best. My job title was sales associate, but basically, you know, I was the, I was the freight associate. I was the cashier. I stocked the shelves. I cleaned up a little bit and, you know, basically did everything. So the title really didn't matter. It's not like there's, like, you know, one person in each department. There's barely any associates there to help you out. It was a nightmare most days. I was like the new guy, right? I didn't even really get trained on the register. The manager was just like, oh, I know you had register experience before, so just go up there and do it. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. I mean, it's pretty simple, but there's definitely a few things I, I wasn't really sure about, man. So yeah, guys, Dollar General is a super stressful job if you're a cashier. So man, like literally my first week, I was like the only one on the cash register and the manager is just chilling, sitting in the back, right? And I had a line that was halfway to the back of the store. Do you know how stressful and shitty it is to have that, all right? Just people waiting in line, just bitching and moaning and complaining. Yo, what's taking so long? Is there any other people here? There's another register. Why don't you guys open it, you know? Like, uh, yeah, guy, I'm the only one here, and, you know, my manager doesn't really do anything, so sucks to be you. I mean, you know, I mean, that's how it was, man. It's super stressful, you know? And, dude, Dollar General's, like, cashier register system is so old, dude. Like, it just, the stupidest things you have to do, you have to press the button, like, three times to open the drawer after someone gives you money. You know, you're gonna type the number in, you gotta hit the enter button, and then you gotta hit this button, and then it opens up. It's like, oh, it takes forever, man. Now guys, the most important part of this little job review, Dollar General does not give breaks. What? Yeah, Dollar General doesn't give breaks. I remember my first day at Dollar General. I worked like an eight hour shift. I was only part time, but I was working an eight hour shift. It's good, it's good, get that money, right? So about like three hours in, I was starting to feel it a little bit. And so I went up to manager, I was like, hey, can I take a break now? And she was like, oh, we don't get breaks. I'm like, huh? I was like, what? Uh, and she's like, yeah, you know, we, we don't get breaks here. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's, I, dude, I can't get over that. I can't get over how shitty a company must be to not give their associate a 10 or 15 minute break that they deserve. From the first day I worked this job, I hated every single second that I worked there, bro. Okay, yeah, we got a lunch. We were we got a lunch, right? But I mean, dude, no breaks, dude. We worked so freaking hard. I'm not sure if I said this already, but like there was only a maximum of three people on at the same time. Usually there was two. So you got yourself doing, you know, everything up front and everything in back and someone chilling in the back, you know, and someone in the back crunching numbers or doing whatever they do. So I just, man, I just, I still can't get over the fact that the company just doesn't care enough to give their employees breaks, dude. I don't know, like, I'm really curious to know if, like, you know, that's every Dollar General or if my manager was just a, a dick, you know? I mean, I wasn't fond of this manager. She was my manager at another store, and I didn't like her at all. So I don't know how I got the job, you know? I don't know why she hired me, because I, you know, I didn't really like her at all. But, uh, yeah, you know, I ended up getting the job, and, man, did I hate it. 
Dude, it got to the point where I literally did absolutely nothing when I worked there. I, I don't care. You know, people be like, oh, well, you don't have any work at that. You know, yeah, yeah. Not when, uh, you know, you get treated like shit like that. So, yeah, another thing. I was hired as part-time the first week. I got like 20 hours. Great, awesome. That's part-time right there. Every single week after that part-time week of 20 hours, I had 40 plus hours. And it was ridiculous, bro. When I started, so many people quit. There's like about maybe a 10 or 11 people on the, on the payroll, right? Like 10 or 11 people who work there every now and then. And... At least like four or five of them quit two weeks after I started. They just quit, dude. So I was getting scheduled 12 hour shifts, bro. Part time, I'm getting 40 plus hours a week, and I'm just getting scheduled back to back to back to back 12 hour shifts, seven days a week, bro. I'm not asking for this shit, bro. I'm not asking for it, man. I'm just like, yo, I'm part-time. Why am I having 55 hours this week and every shift is 12 hours? And, you know, it was just ridiculous, dude. It just got to a point where I was like, bro, I can't do the 12-hour shift with no breaks, man. Yeah, you get a lunch. You get a 30-minute lunch. But you have to work six hours straight and you're doing a lot of work. You're lifting shit. You're stocking the shelves. You're dealing with the stress of, like having 30 people in line at the cash register and, you know, people complaining and moaning and doing all that stuff that people do. And then, you know, you have to work six hours through that and then you get a 30 minute break. Ah, uh, that feels good. And then five and a half hours more. So it's just like, holy God, dude, I just, dude, oh, I can't get over it, dude. I will just always for the rest of my life, hate on Dollar General because of that. Because they don't give a shit about their employees, dude. Like, oh, yeah, they offer benefits. They'll give you money to go to school. They're do they'll do all that stuff. But they won't give you a fucking break, dude. That shit just has me so heated, and I'm just going off on that. But legit, guys, I don't really know how to structure a good review. I just go off on the things that, you know, that I go off on, dude. I don't script this. I'm straight from the brain. I just do one take, and that's the video. So, like, man, you know, basic review, freaking .5 stars out of 5 for Dollar General. No breaks. They don't give a shit. They don't have enough employees to help out. Terrible job, dude. Hands down, low pay. Fuck dollar general, period. Go out of business. Please, for the love of God, you probably won't because just so many people shop there. But anyway, guys, this has been the Dollar General rant. I can't even talk about this stuff anymore. I'm heated, bro. If you're thinking about going to Dollar General, please don't. Go work at like KFC and get some free chicken bro like you know at least you get something man you know anyway guys <laughs> peace out boys